I'm Chris from India. I never thought of it. Uh, just the, the circumstances led me to come to the cap business as a commodity trader. Oh yeah. Yeah. Commodity trader? Trader, trader. Trading in commodities. And the need was to look after my family financially to give a financial support. So I could not self support because whatever the the, the fund I brought in from India, so it's all spent in the first six months, so I was totally, I was not financially stable. My name is Ali and uh, I'm from Iran. I took the technical school for electrical and electronic and then um, so at that time I stopped uh, study because we had a war between Iran and Iraq. To be honest, I didn't like from beginning, it was a diff different job. Yeah. I just wants to have a job. I didn't want to go to social assistance. My name is Danny Ryan from Iran. I was a second year pharmacy student I, and here and I had very good marks. And here you had to go do pre med and other tests and get a four-year degree and a lot of BS. So that's when I went and studied computers here. Driving a taxi is very individual thing. I can't, I can't say that for everybody. It's, yeah. A lot of people can't survive in that business. They, they have to have the personality for it. The hours are long, longer than eight hours. So that put some pressure on the family. But the good part is you got a cell phone, you can always be in touch at any time. It is not that when you come to this country, you know, you have to, most of the people, they need Canadian experience and, the, you know, you, that even they need a sort of certificate or a degree from the Canadian University or any other, fan, you know, the education institution. Mm -hmm. So the foreign degree still, they don't give any recognition. So for them, uh, even if I hold a degree from India, when I come to Canada, it has no value. So these employers expect me to go again the university and study the same, you know, subject that I, stu I studied 30, 40 years back. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's a weird situation, you know. Yeah. And then nobody is employing you. How can I uh, get a Canadian experience unless and until, you know, I got a job. So I have to start up somewhere. Yeah. So that I don't get that opportunity. So nobody, everybody is asking me a Canadian experience and nobody is willing to <laughs> offer me a job. In this business, you get a bouquet of flowers. With every bouquet of flowers, you get some crap wheat. Yeah. <laughs> it's part and parcel of the whole thing. So, it, you know, you get them all, but they're mostly very good. Be nice to us. We, we just, only thing we want to do to service people. We love to service and uh, do our best to make them happy, you know. 